the smartwatch market these days is crazier than a Black Friday sale. Everyone's throwing their smartwatch into the ring, but with so many options, it's tough to know where to start, especially if you're on a budget. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Cuspet Tank M3. New design, we'll see. Setup process, buckle up, it might be a bumpy ride. Step tracker and heart rate sensor accuracy. We're about to peel back layers and see what's good, what's bad and everything in between. Will it dethrone the smartwatch kings? Probably not. But let's see if it can hold its own. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button for more in your face tech smackdowns and let's crack open that box and see what Cuspid has packed inside. First impressions, ruggedly handsome. The Cuspid logo screams premium vibes and the whole military standard claim, well, we might put that to the test later. But the watch itself, sitting snug in its little compartment, looking sleek and protected by a plastic wrap. The straps are separate, but we'll get to those in a sec. Let's see what other goodies Cuspid packed in here. Another box. Inside we've got all the essentials, the surprisingly soft straps, a charging cradle, even a screen protector with cleaning wipes. Nice touch, Cuspet. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. And use a manual. Alright, time to peel the plastic off this bad boy. Yeah, those premium vibes are confirmed. Looking good. Now let's slap on these straps. Standard pins, super easy to attach. This year, Cosped definitely stepped up in their strap game. The silicon ones are incredibly soft and comfy, a big win. But if silicon isn't your thing, any 22mm strap will work. While I'm not a silicon fan myself, I gotta say, these feel way better than your typical cheap rubber straps. And the M3 itself, super comfy on the wrist. Huge point there. This M3 marks the third iteration in the Cuspet's M-series lineup. It ditches the round form factor for a sleek rectangular metal body. The front boasts a tough 9H glass screen. And Cuspet throws in all the ruggedness certifications you would expect. 5 ATM water resistance, IP69K dustproof rating and even military standard 810H certification. Now, I'm not gonna crush it with a car, because who actually does that? But for everyday wear and tear, I'm confident. Washing hands, showering, no sweat. The watch inspires confidence for daily use. Black and silver options are available. I went for the silver, but both look sharp. Flipping it over, we've got the usual suspects. Sensors, speaker and microphone. Two buttons on the right side handle home and quick access to the sports mode, while the left side gets dedicated up and down cursor buttons. A cool touch. Now, the M3 does have a bit of a chunky profile on the wrists. Solid build quality for sure, but it might be a challenge for guys with smaller wrists. That being said, I've been wearing it all day for the past two weeks with no issues. Alright, looks are important, but the display needs to be good too, and the M3 doesn't disappoint. It's rocking a 1.96 inch AMOLED panel with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 for protection. Deep blacks, super sharp resolution, brightness is decent outdoors, but no adaptive brightness, a bit of a bummer. Bonus points for the always on display, but wearing this to bed feels like a sleeping next to a Christmas tree. Wrist movements turn it into a disco ball. Cosmet, you gotta get that adaptive brightness in there. Your customers will thank you. The display's responsiveness is okay, an improvement over the Cosmet Tank T3 I reviewed recently. There were occasional double taps, but nothing too frustrating. Plenty of customization options here. Change the watch face, adjust the brightness, and even tweak the always on display, which by the way is super battery friendly thanks to AMOLED tech. No app store here, but everything works at advertised. All right, let's dive deeper into connectivity. Setting up the M3 is a breeze. Seriously, download the Cuspet Fit app. It's free, simple and works on both iPhone and Android. Pairing is straightforward. Scan the QR code, create an account, done. Android users, heads up. The app wants a bunch of permissions to make all that features work. It's up to you if you're comfortable with that. Speaking of the app, guess what? There are some new updates available with some cool features. The app can now handle multiple device connections so you can pair your M3 and say the new T3 at the same time. That's awesome if you're a smart multitasker. 
The app itself lets you customize the watch face a bit. There are like 70 to download, but honestly, most are, well, a little cartoony. Cosmet, listen up, we need some more professional looking options. You can even create your own watch face from a photo on your phone. Pretty neat feature. For you smartwatch veterans out here, you know the drill, got to set up your profile with age, height, weight, the usual stuff to make those health and step tracking numbers a little more accurate. You can do this all in the app during setup and tweak it later if needed. Speaking of health tracking, the M3 boasts a ton of sports modes, like a crazy ton. We're talking over 170 different activities from your basic running and cycling to swimming in the deep end. But hey, the point is that you can customize which ones you actually use and the watch can even auto detect some workouts like walking or running. Personally, I'm a classic step counter kind of guy then I manually pick my workout when I hit the gym. The watch itself can store around 70 of these sports modes and picking them is easy peasy with the dedicated button on the left. No muss, no fuss. Now, with all these fancy modes, let's see how accurate this thing really is when it comes to tracking your workouts. We're putting the M3 to the test against my trusty manual clicker. 1000 steps coming up, click, click. Let's see how close this watch gets. Searching for GPS. Hmm, it turns out it relies on your phone's GPS for distance tracking. Hey, not surprising at this price point, but kinda hilarious that it even tried. Anyway, back to the steps. 989 steps on the watch, 1000 on the clicker. Pretty good, considering I threw in some short steps, long strides, even some stairs to confuse it. Looks like the M3 can keep up with my all over the place walking style. Another cool feature, continuous heart rate monitoring. But can it hold its own against my fancy medical grade pulse oximeter? Let's put it to the test. That's very close, I'm impressed. The readings seem accurate, constantly updating in the background as it tracks heart rate 24 seven and during workouts. So no complaints here, it works. Stressed, the M3 can track your stress level too, using the same sensor as heart rate. You could set it for continuous in the app. Last, blood oxygen. Watch says 97%, oximeter says 97. Close enough. Good job, Cospet. Speaking of features, what this watch has to offer. The M3 can handle Bluetooth calls, which is neat. Speaker and microphone are decent, with clear audio on both ends. You can even load contacts onto the watch for quick dialing. Super easy through the app. And Android users, remember the permission thing. The M3 doesn't have built-in storage for music, but you can still control your phone's music playback, including volume and skipping tracks, also during workouts. It also shows all your phone's notifications and you can customize which ones appear through the app. Possible permission needs again, Android users. Bluetooth range is around 5 to 8 meters, which is alright for most situations. Overall, the M3's calling and notifications features are solid. Sleep tracking, accuracy might not be perfect, but hey, I can't exactly pull out a sleep lab in my bedroom. Alright, battery life. The holy grail of smartwatches, right? The M3 packs a 480mAh battery, almost as beefy as its bigger brother, the T3, which we reviewed last time. The M3 claims up to 15 days on a normal use or a whooping 50 days on standby. Now, those are some impressive numbers, but you know me, I gotta push things to the limit. So, I cranked everything up to 11, heart rate tracking, stress monitoring, always on display, the whole buffet. And guess what? With all that jazz, it still squeezed out a solid 5 days of use on a single charge. Not bad at all, definitely exceeded my expectations. Alright, let's wrap things up. The M3 is a good looking smartwatch with surprisingly premium feel. It's built like a tank, almost a week on a single charge is seriously impressive. The AMOLED display is nice and bright, but it lacks automatic brightness which can be a pain at night. Health tracking seems accurate, calls are clear and the speaker is decent, plus it's got a ton of sports modes for all your fitness activities. Now the watch faces, let's be honest, most are a bit too cartoony for professional settings. Cuspit, listen up, we need some more professional looking options. Alright, full transparency. Cospet sent me this watch for review, but fear not my friends, this is an honest review, no sugarcoating here. I wasn't paid to make this video, but your support by liking and subscribing is what keeps this channel going, so smash those buttons. Speaking of support, you can grab the M3, links are blasting in the description below. 
By the way, huge thanks for the constant support and killer comments you leave on our videos. The tech family is booming and it's awesome. Keep hitting subscribe and we'll keep pumping out these deep dive videos for you. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.